Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Down to Earth Gardening and Design, and I hope our video finds you all healthy and safe at home. Right now, we're all starting to think about growing our own vegetables, um, and it's a great time to start a vegetable garden. So today I want to talk a little bit about raised bed gardening. Um, I'm a big advocate for raised beds, and I want to give you a couple of tips before I talk about some advantages of them. So this raised bed here is made out of an untreated hardwood and the size is perfect. It is four across, four feet across, and eight feet long, and it's about eight inches high. This is a really great size because I can reach to the center easily. Um, I think about the average that you can reach is two feet, so four feet across is perfect. And eight inches for a depth is great, um, just if you're gonna grow any root vegetables. So there's a lot of these blueprints online. Um, this is something that we do for our customers, setting up raised beds for vegetables and cutting flowers, and we absolutely love them. So you can find your blueprints online, or you can get a little bit creative, because you're gonna think of it really as an oversized container. So you could also build it out of metal sheets. Um, you could build it out of stone or brick. And just get creative and think about what you might have on hand. So I want to talk about um, four advantages of the raised bed gardens and one is that they're easier to maintain. Like I said, they really are like growing things in a container. Um, you can really pack them full of veggies, herbs, or cut flowers because you don't need a walking path. So you can easily in this size grow enough um, vegetables with a little bit of variety for two to four people. Um, two is it's much easier on your back. Um, I can sit on the ledge here. I've also seen some blueprints that have a little bit of a bench here to sit on, or you could easily kneel alongside of it um, and still reach to the center. Um, three is that the, you can control the soil here because we filled this with a bad potting soil. So you don't have to worry as much about soil testing and pH. Um, the potting soils already have nice organic matter in them and they do have uh, slow release fertilizer. So that takes care of all that for you. And four is probably the best one. You can extend your growing season. So because the soil is raised up, um, it warms up a little quicker. So you can start growing things earlier and it stays warmed up later so you can grow things later into the fall. So I'm a big advocate of the raised bed gardening. Uh, we're going to follow up in the coming weeks with how to build your own raised bed. So just keep a watch out for our video. And I hope you enjoyed the tips and you get out there and do some gardening.